take a little break for a while, but I'm back now and I'm home. Uh, don't have work today. I don't have school today. I'm out for the summer. So I didn't know what to do. I'm actually kind of bored. So I just decided to Google uh, jokes about Donald Trump and maybe uh, get myself laughing, get you laughing. It would be even better. I just think it'd be funny to watch. So here's the first one. What is Donald Trump telling Barack Obama supporters? Orange is the New Black. <laughs> That's funny. I love that show. On that note, Orange is the New Black season four is coming out June. I want to say it's the 14th or the 17th. I don't know. It's the middle of June. I'm absolutely obsessed with that show. My favorite characters are Nikki and Red. Their relationship is just I just love it. Uh, Red's my favorite because she's such a badass, but it's a fantastic show. Uh, just wanted to mention that. Next joke. What does Melania see in Donald Trump? Ten billion dollars and high cholesterol. Eh, that's not that funny. Why shouldn't Donald Trump rag on illegal immigrants? Because an undocumented worker has been living on his head for the past two decades because his hair is like orange and Hispanics so you have like white black yellows Asian and Hispanics are like red or orange is that what that's supposed to mean that's stupid dun, dun, dun. Trump it's not a toupee I just found the bush that Jeb lost Hmm. How is Donald Trump going to create middle class jobs? By paying them to cheer for him during the campaign. That's it. <laughs> hmm. Dun, da, da, da. Maybe I should have looked through them all before I just decided to read them to you. How does Donald Trump plan on deporting 12 million illegal immigrants one by one? That's stupid. How come Justin Bieber's hair fetched $40,000 on eBay? Donald Trump is running for president and needed a more youthful looking wig. Stupid. What airline does Donald Trump aspire to fly? Hair Force One. I heard that one. I think it was Marco Rubio who said something like that. I read that in an article. That's funny. How do you make Halloween great again? By carving a trumpkin. That's stupid. <laughs> uh. Why does Donald Trump prefer E.T. to illegal immigrants? Because E.T. eventually went home. That's so retarded. I mean, stupid. What do Donald Trump and a baby have in common? They both whine a lot. These aren't funny. Humpty Trumpty wants a great wall. Humpty Trumpty wants Mexico to pay for it all. What's Donald Trump's favorite nation? Discrimination. Aww. He's a really mean guy, isn't he? <laughs> and it's kind of scary how much he has favoritism with these American people. I mean, it speaks a lot. Worst fear is he's like the next Hitler. But he doesn't show any, any, um, yeah, what's the word? Um, like he doesn't want to kill anybody. He's just mean. But then again, I don't know if Hitler planned on killing anybody when he first started, so I, I don't know. I don't know the history of that too well. Wish I did. It's kind of interesting, that whole era and how it all worked. But you know what they say, history repeats itself, and Trump is uh, the Republican nominee. That's... <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see what other jokes we have. If Donald Trump wins the election, I volunteer as tribute for the Hunger Games. 
Yeah, same, same. That awkward moment when you actually want to vote for Donald Trump? No, that, that hasn't happened. <laughs> Donald Trump wants to control the country even though he can't control his hair. Trump has been counting his protesters as supporters. No wonder why he thinks they're in the thousands. That might be true. It's like a fine line because when you're as passionate for somebody, whether it's because you really like them or because you hate them, either way you're showing passion towards them. So maybe they need to distinguish themselves better if that's the case. Hmm. <clears throat> Donald Trump campaign slogans. We shall overcome. No amigos. Come over to the dark side. Don't be a chump. Vote for Trump. Stump for Trump. Democrats, you're fired. This country needs the D. <laughs> That's so funny. That's fantastic. That's a good one. <laughs> Everybody needs to comb down. <laughs> Keep calm and vote for Trump. That's not very original. Trump on the bandwagon. That's cute. Trump speaks for US. That's probably supposed to say Trump, Trump speaks for us. Oh well. Build that wall anti-Trump campaign slogans. Now these are the ones that I probably will appreciate. Hopefully. We'll see. I haven't read them yet. Stumped by Trump. Anyone but Trump? Yeah, that's accurate. Hmm. <laughs> Make Donald dumped again. I didn't... Ooh, it's not dumped. It's drumped. I can't say it. But I, I saw this trending on Twitter once and I had no idea what it was. I googled it and it turns out Trump changed, or Trump's grandfather changed his last name or his dad changed his last name. I don't know, something like that. But apparently Trump isn't his, I suppose it is his legal name, but it isn't his ancestor's name, I guess. Never Trump. Dump Trump. Derail Trump. Deport Trump. Not voting for Trump is huge. I haven't actually ever heard him say it the way he's made fun of to say it. Maybe I'll YouTube it. Only a chump votes for Trump. Love Trump's hate. Hmm. No human life is illegal. Mm. You can't come over racism. The silent majority should stay silent. That's funny because at his rallies they have these signs that they show they pro they show them on TV. They have these signs that say uh, the silent majority stands with Trump. That's funny. That's funny. Hate ain't great because there's that other one where Trump slogan is "Make America Hate Again." Mm. Trade Trump for refugees. Donald Trump's campaign jokes. Okay, so we'll see what they have to say. Donald Trump is speaking at a campaign event in South Carolina. He asks if the crowd wants to hear a joke. The Southern crowd goes, USA, USA, USA. Malcolm Moore is one of my favorite rappers. He wrote a song called American, and it's very, it's very classic American. I like it. There's a section where they chant USA, and it kind of sounds really patriotic. It's, uh, it's real nice. <laughs> Trying to find something else. Song parody. Hmm. Here we go. Donald Trump is such a clown, they say he lives way uptown. We all know that he's such a fool. How you like that, that hairdo? I wish he'd just go away. Just can't stand what he has to say. People think he's 
awful dumb. When he talks, my brain goes numb. He's going to build a giant wall because people think he's got the balls. And to end this stupid note, I'd rather die than give him a vote. That's kind of catchy. Kind of catchy. I like that. Well, those are my thoughts about Donald Trump. Um, I think I'm pulling for Sanders. I really, really like Bernie. I think he's cute. I like the way he talks with his hands. I think that's really funny. Um, he's definitely getting the youth's vote, and I'm in that category, so I he's really uh, calling out to the youth. He's saying a lot of things that, you know, no tuition, all that kind of stuff. It's, um, it's really appealing, and it's a good way to get young voters interested in politics as well, I think, because only a, the minority of the country votes each political election. And the more young people you can get to vote, I think the better because they are going to, the more involved they are, they can branch out and see, see how our country really works and be a part of it and contribute to it. Because if you have the same generations voting each election, the country is going to stay the same. But millennials have this new idea, this new vision. They're living in a world that's constantly evolving and becoming more and more open to all types of people. And I think it's important that we help change and shape the direction our country is going and will be in the next coming years. Those are my thoughts. Have a good day.